Opportunity Nation, Iowa accepts the challenge. We accept and make our commitment. The word Iowa means beautiful land, and it's a state of opportunity, and opportunity is beautiful. We have a rich history. Did you know that Iowa's Norman Borlaug and Henry Wallace have been credit credited with saving more persons in the world than any other individuals for their advances in food production? The first computer was invented at Iowa State University. The National Bar Journal, the national legal magazine for African-American attorneys, was created in Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa by Robert Morris. Arabella Mansfield was the first woman attorney in the United States, admitted to the Iowa Bar in 1869. Mary Louise Smith was the first woman to chair a national political party. Edna Griffin's court battle on discrimination against the Kratz Drug Store in Des Moines in 1948 occurred seven years before Rosa Parks be refused to sit in the back of the bus. And how about Buffalo Bill Cody, John Wayne, Johnny Carson, Herbert Huber, Glenn Miller, Donna Reed, Grant Wood, Aston Kutcher, <laughs> Meredith Wilson, <laughs> Harry Reisner, Andy Williams, all Iowans, even Frodo from The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Iowa is also first in ethanol, biodiesel, corn, soybeans, egg, pork, and presidential caucuses, and it's probably not coincidental that political caucuses follow pork. <laughs> so whether it's the computer, the corn picker, the tractor, the helicopter, vending machines, the trampoline, soy ink, women's rights, the arts or sciences, many opportunities started in Iowa. And I can tell you that being number seven on Opportunity Nation's new index is not good enough. Three states that touch Iowa, Minnesota, Nebraska, and Wisconsin, have higher scores in Iowa. And although having four states in the top seven from the Midwest is a little cool, Iowa can and will do better. Let's start with Governor Terry Branstead, the first governor in the nation to declare a month as Opportunity Month by proclamation this past January. Or the or the creation of the Opportunity Iowa website, a companion to Opportunity Nation, where Iowans can share their stories and make their personal commitment to do better themselves or to help someone else. Or the partnerships we formed with United Way of Central Iowa, Iowa Jobs for American Graduates, Community Foundation of Greater Des Moines, Character Counts of Iowa, Boys and Girls Club of Central Iowa, AARP, and Des Moines Area Community College. Our commitment is to study the Opportunity Index and align it to Iowa data. To engage Iowa employers now looking to fill thousands of currently open, very good, middle-skilled jobs, we're going to fill that still skill gap. To help opportunity seekers set their pathway to opportunity and then get there. To register mentors on the Opportunity Iowa website and to engage state leaders to speak out on opportunity and improvement and advancement. Or DMACC students who even machined the first Opportunity Nation national medallion, having been awarded to a number of congressmen, the United States Secretary of Education, the United States Secretary of Agriculture, and other dignitaries commemorating opportunity and what skilled students can do. And the home of the only Opportunity Nation advancing the American dream, 18 Wheeler. now appearing in parades near you if you're in Iowa. <laughs> so when it comes to opportunity, is Iowa the best thing since sliced bread? I'm glad you asked. Yes, the bread slicer was also invented in Iowa. Meet Otto Roweeder. Iowa is beautiful, and it's my honor to introduce Iowa's continuing next best thing, United States Senator Tom Harkin. <laughs> Senator Tom Harkin has represented Iowa in Congress for over 36 years. In Congress, he has championed education and training issues, and we call that opportunity in Iowa, and has made it a priority to support programs that allow children to start school ready to succeed. 
as chairman of the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee, HELP, and the Appropriations Subcommittee that funds health, education, and labor, he is uniquely positioned to both authorize and appropriate to make good things happen for America. Senator Harkin knows that learning starts at birth and preparation for learning starts before birth. He has secured funding to establish and improve early education programs and made early education education an important component of the Elementary and Secondary School Act. He believed that America's youth de deserve high quality opportunities to succeed in and outside of the classroom. Also, he wants to improve and develop outcomes for students in our country's most distressed urban and rural neighborhoods, such as through the Promise Neighborhoods Initiative. Senator Harkin believes all Americans should have access to affordable and quality post-secondary skills and education. He continues to support critical programs such as Pell, Workforce Investment Act, Perkins, and anything that provides postgraduate post opportunities for all. Senator Harkin was born in Cumming, Iowa on November 19, 1939, the son of an Iowa coal miner and a Slovenian immigrant, and he still lives in that same house in Cumming. One more thing, Senator Harkin authored the ADA, Americans with Disability Act in 1990. He worked with Senator Bob Dole in a bipartisan manner and signed into law by President George H.W. Bush, the first major civil rights bill since the 1960s. Please welcome my friend and United States Senator, Tom Harkin.